Well done, Steph. It was underneath the nomination time for the Commonwealth Games. Must be really pleased with that. Oh yeah, definitely. It was four second PB, so really over the moon with that. And obviously to go under the qualifying time for the Commonwealth. So happy. Didn't expect to go that quick, but I'll, 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 I'd love to go a lot quicker. But hopefully at the Commonwealth. So. At the Commonwealth, you'll have world champion Madison Elliott for company as well. You're looking forward to taking her on there. Oh yeah, definitely. I always love a good race, so it'd be really good to race Maddie here um, in Glasgow. So looking forward to it. You didn't swim many freestyle events at the Worlds last year. How much of a priority is it for you now this season? Um, well, obviously, I'm still working on all my strokes. I'm still finding my feet, really. And um, I haven't really special... I've been working on my butterfly, because that's my, like, my main stroke. But I'll be working a bit more on the freestyle, but all the other strokes as well. So. And how do you view the Commonwealth Games now? Because, obviously, the benchmark meet for the para swimmers is the Europeans. So will it be a bit different? Um, not, not really. Like, obviously, I missed going to the Commonwealth in 2010, so I really wanted to give it a go and try and make the team here, even though the Europeans was the main target this year. So to get this is an added bonus. When you were going for the 2010 Commonwealth, so obviously it was as an, as an able-bodied swimmer. Does that make it a bit more poignant getting the qualification time now in para swimming? Oh yeah, definitely. And obviously it's in freestyle event, which isn't my main stroke, so it makes it all the better. Well done tonight. Thank you very much. Thanks.